Guys, today we're at Lake Palestine. I'm gonna do a little video that I did about a year ago. We're gonna to try to redo this thing called uh, Tips and Tricks of how to get these spawning crappie. So uh, what we're gonna do is go out here, we're gonna hit some uh, stumps, try to catch the big girls, and I'll, I'll walk you through what we're doing. So y'all stay tuned, we're gonna put throw some fish in a boat here, guys. All right, guys, I am smack dab in the middle of the sun. I apologize. But look, I'm going to redo this video. Um, I did it about a year ago, really a year ago about this time, talking about tips, tricks, and how to catch spawning crappie. So uh, what we're doing today, I am using a live scope. You don't, do not have to have a live scope to do this. I'm doing it so that I can record some of this for you guys. But there are brush everywhere out here, and basically that's what we're looking for is brush. So the first tip to do is look at your map look at where you're going to go if you've been there before awesome if you've not uh take a look at a map kind of get an idea of your your depth so right now i'm in about nine foot of water the uh, temperature is 62 degrees uh surface temperature and i am in a creek bed so i'm following this creek bed when you look back over here in these directions it gets in a four or five foot deep and those fish really aren't in there right now the up on the shallows the males are there but i'm going for the big girls um so tip one is look at your map, figure out where you're gonna fish, figure out where your stumps are. Because once again, those, the, the males go in, they make the beds. And once the, uh, the bed's made, the females will come in, they'll spawn and they only, uh, it's about two hours is, is how long they're there, um, you know, spawning. Uh, once they're done, they come back out in a staging area. That's where we're fishing here. And they're gonna start eating again, like they did beforehand. So. We're, we're, we're targeting the big girls right now, the spawning crappie. Um, I don't quite think they're up in here yet. I know we're catching, I'm catching some females, but not the big, big ones. The ones that I want, I think they're further down that way, but you know what, it's still gonna make a good video. Um, let's get after it, man, let's get after it. Saw that one sitting there. Alright guys, here we go. So, tip number one, figure out where you're going. That's what we did, we caught crappie. Tip number two, figure out what bait you're going to use guys. Um, so I'm using right here, just a regular old lead head, it's a hand tie jig. Uh, it's got a kind of a sparkly purple on there with a white tail. Make sure I still spot like the wind changed directions on me. Um, so that's what I'm getting them on. Um, I do have Palestine Special over there that I will be using as well. They quit biting, but you know what? Not a bad crappie. North, there could be a lot bigger, but let's go ahead and, you know what? I'm gonna hold these, hold a couple for pictures. There we go. 19 times the charm. All right, guys, here we go. Figure out what bait you're gonna use. This will be a good YouTube model right here. <laughs> For a picture. Big old spawning female, guys. So once again, let me just say this. I am using a live scope. You don't have to use a live scope on this. I'm just able to see them. It's gonna allow me to, to show you guys better what I'm doing. But out of here, man, there's trees everywhere. All you gotta do is get up the tree, drop down start from the bottom work your way up figure out where they are and figure out what bait you're going to use i got one <laughs> it just dropped it right down there oh yeah he's bigger I don't know if he is or not. Yeah, we'll put her back. God, this is fun, guys. Oh, 
Oh, right out of the middle of those. Couldn't even see them. Goes to show you, you don't need a live scope to catch fish. Never even saw this fish. Nice big female. Heck yeah. You guys, one of the things we're having to do today is, well, because of the wind, we're do have to, having to do a little pitch out. So what we're doing is pitching out. We've got the fish here, we're pitching out over here, and just basically letting it come right by them. And at that point, they grab it. Uh, I see a couple fish behind me, and so I'm gonna have to drop down the other side of my transducer to keep my pole straight up in the air uh, just to get them. But um, they're, they're moving. Some of them are just sitting there doing nothing. Some of them are moving. Just kind of uh, watch and see. Got him. It's a real good fish. Well, it's not as big as I thought it was, but it will work. All right, guys, there we go. Once again, targeting. Man, I barely got her in there. Top lip, short strike. Good old fish, though. Here's another tip for you, especially if you've uh, never fished this lake before. You know, obviously, look at the map, find your creek channels, um, find your brush, uh, get that all done first. Find your bait, look at your watercolor, see where it's stained, if it's clear, figure out what you're going to use. Um, the next thing to do is, well, I hate to say it, but look for other boaters, look for other fishermen. We've got about nine people here fishing right now, uh, three, four boats. They're catching fish on a bridge. Um, there's another boat right over there on the bank. So I know I'm in a, in a good spot. I know I'm where I need to be fishing. Now, I'm not saying get on top of them, but you have an idea based on people around if there's catch, you're catching fish. You wind up coming to a spot, just right smack there in the middle of spawn, um, and you're the only one out there, may not be the best spot. Try it, for sure. Don't, I mean, you're already on the water. Try it, you catch a fish, awesome. If you don't catch fish, you probably know you're in a bad spot. So give that a shot. Good crappie, good crappie. Big old girl, and she was on the bottom, dude. Look at that. I didn't even change colors yet. A little, little white, actually. Well, she's been down there a long time. Oh, there's another one right there. God, there's two more down there. <laughs> This is fun. There we go. That's a good fish. Wow. That's a real good fish. <laughs> yeah. There we go, guys. Man, they are just smack dab, just running the bottom right now. There we go. Get some more of these things. There's a few more down here. Now we're getting the bigger ones. <laughs> there we go. Oh, get off that thing. There you got him. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh, come back here. That's a good girl right there. Whoo, look at that one. 
<laughs> oh man, look at that thing. This is what we are normally seeing out here in the north. Something like that. Wow. Good fish. So y'all just started fishing? Okay. I love fishing out here. This bridge, after the spawn's over, this bridge is really good. Um, right now they're just trans or moving back and forth. Here's a good, these are the ACC. It's one of my sponsors. These are really good out here as well. I would have that. Thank you, sir. Um, <clears throat> give it a shot and they, uh, I'll tell you other thing, Yes, sir. Hey, thanks for your service. What branch? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Army. <laughs> yeah, I'm retired Army. And awesome, man. Thanks for your service. I'm just basically working on tips and tricks to the crappie spawn right now and just hitting stumps. So what they're doing, they're really, the big ones are in the main lake out there. Uh, or in the, the shallows of the main lake. They're working their way here because they're going to come up here and spawn. So they, they usually come right down that creek about where that guy's sitting yeah. is the creek and then it goes underneath and then comes back out and goes under that bridge. And that's going to be a good place to fish uh, once they've spawned and get back out. They'll, they'll hang out here all summer. Well, cool, man. What's your name? Mark. Mark. Martin? So Mark or Martin? Mark. Mark. Yeah, good to meet you. I'm Chris. Mark as well. Two Marks. Junior and senior, I hope. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> good. <Thank> you, <laughs> All right, guys, y'all have a good one. <laughs> that was awesome. Just dropped right down on her. <sighs> Sitting right on top of the tree. That's a nice big girl right there. Mm. So guys, if you have a live scope, don't be afraid to, to back off a little bit, even 20, 20 feet and just pitch into it. Uh, when they're at this time of, of year, they're, they're a little spooky. So when you get right on top of them, I've scared multiple away just for the simple fact that I'm fighting the wind. But by the time I stop, I wind up going right over them and those fish take off. So, you know, look at it. Uh, if you're not using a live scope, there's no problem with, you know, getting close. Those fish are coming back in. The longer I sit there, I see those fish coming back in. So a couple more tips for you. Um, man, I'm having a good time, guys. Hopefully y'all are. Uh, go ahead and end it right here. But thanks for watching. Hopefully I've helped you out just a little bit on, on this video. And uh, I'm gonna go grab some pictures of these fish and put them back in. So y'all take care. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and that bell notification. That way you'll know when we do another video. Appreciate it. Y'all enjoy your spawn.